I, my sister lives here too. Remember, she lives in the She said, she says, she said, she said, she said, she said, she didn't teach this year. She was like with the COVID, being almost 70. She's like, yeah. So, I hear. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's, uh, well, I saved about $500 a month not taking clients out to lunch. So, economically, you know, and then we didn't, we didn't check, check, check. Let's put that headset on and see how you check, check, check. Can you hear anything? Check, 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 check. Two turntables and a microphone. All right. That'll keep your hat on. Now, do you want to talk? Do you want to like, uh, you know? Oh, no, I don't. Shit about football. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of my family. No move. No talk about speed. Shit, shit, blow things up. Any movement analysis for us then? We can do that. So. Yeah, I'm so odd. Right now. I just. I don't yeah. I have to jump through the fucking. There's probably no money in it. I would imagine. Yeah, that that's we're, to, to your clients. Yeah. Well, are you still building houses? Yeah, I got a full going right now. Oh Jesus! It's been going since uh, May, end of April, and and she's not gonna be able to move in until Christmas. So it's really good job. Most of my clients have skied with fucking, you know, like... They rip, probably. Most of them have gone skiing, you know, it's like, oh, they go to the Davenport camp, they ski with Wright County, they ski with Olympians, they ski with this, that, and, and then they ski with me and they get better and they go, you're the fucking best. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. You know, I'm coaching. I coach my kids' hockey team, nice. and one of the parents, what, one one of the parents is, is is they bought eleven million dollar property at the base of Rabbit Ears Pass with like four ponds, whatever. Most down to earth people ever, and they ski with. Do you know Alex Shorter? Uh, Alex and Ryan Shorter. There, she 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 does ski club veil. They're 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 ski racers, you know. And he coaches. He coaches. He you know. But he's like, you make such a prettier turn, and you can ski anything. <laughs> like, oh, you know, you just. Dude, every one of these people that's come out, I've scored the shit out of in front of these people, and they go. <laughs> Brian. All right, so I'm this kid is really lucky. So, this, you don't really need to do a ton of zooming. I think we can probably keep it like right about there and then just kind of follow the play and you know as little movement as possible really you know yeah oh, no. just, you know. let me see where we are here but I've got hey Kenny I'm about to start doing the football game everything okay oh I'm on the air or okay fine
Brian Harvey live at beautiful Aspen High School. Your Steamboat Sailors coming in with a one and two record and the Aspen Skiers sitting at one and two. This should be a fun, fun battle of the ski towns right now. We've got a beautiful day, although it feels like we're broadcasting from Wyoming right now. The wind is cooking at our backs is uh, beautiful Aspen Highlands. Unfortunately, it was closed today, so I did not get to make turns on Aspen Highlands, but I did make a few turns on Ajax, and it was absolutely awesome. So your Steamboat Sailors in white with red numbers, black pants and red piping. The Aspen Skiers in black with white numbers. Both of these uniforms are very, very, very friendly as far as uh, my eyes are concerned. So I should have a much easier time than the Steamboat Sailors home jerseys. So it looks like the Steamboat Sailors will be kicking off here. And that looks like Charlie Reisman, but I can't tell. Let's see, yes it is. Charlie Reisman got finished with his soccer game. Steamboat Sailors got a two nil win this morning at Gardner Field hopped in the car and made his way down here to kick the football for us and it is breezy and I've got a feeling he may need a holder Steamboat Sailors football brought to you by our friends at Yampa Valley Bank Yampa Valley Bank the only locally owned bank with locations in Steamboat and Craig they are lending Aspen back deep to receive and that is a high, high kick that's going to go into the end zone. So it'll be first and 10 here for the Aspen Skiers. I feel like I'm broadcasting in Kansas right now. Big shout out to Scott Kane, former Steamboat Springs resident. He now lives here in the Roaring Fork Rally Valley who is running the camera for us today. Scotty, you the man. And a handoff over the right side. And this Aspen team likes to throw the football. We got a flag down on the play. And early indications is it may be against the Steamboat Sailors as the Aspen Skiers took the ball over the right side of the line, picked up a yard, and it will go against Steamboat. Not exactly what the doctor ordered. Remember, you can listen and watch this game on the World Wide Web at the Steamboat Radio YouTube page. 
Of course, you can listen to it terrestrially here in the Yampa Valley at KTYB Sports on FM at 105.7. Aspen skiers from the gun. They've got trips out to the right. One receiver to the left. A pitch option play. Sailors read it. That's Bogan in the backfield with Finn Russell. No, Ryan Hansen in there to clean up the mess. And that's a huge play for a loss. Your Steamboat Sailors in the backfield starting out just the way they like it. So these Aspen skiers, early scouting reports, show that these guys throw the ball about 75% of the time. So expect a high-flying offense. They've got three receivers, once again, wide to the right, one in tight to the left. Ball on the left half, Schmark, back to pass. And that one's intercepted, flag down. Oh, the Sailors look like they had it, but that may be a pass interference against your Steamboat Sailors. Let's see, see what the call is. But a good defensive play there. They set up this quick pass. Quick. <laughs> Call me crazy. Referees right now trying to figure out what's going on. Heck, I'm trying to figure out what's going on, but that's been the story of my whole life. So let's see what this penalty, who is it going to be called against? It looks like it may be going against the skiers. It is. Oh. I, I'm completely confused what just happened. They marched the ball back and then they marched it forward. Looks like it was a pass interference call against your sailors. So from the gun, once again, Aspen's got two receivers off to the right, two to the left. Ball placed right between the hash marks. Dead center of the field. Inside handoff, no, little play action, rolling off to his right. Throw, looks to throw, sailors read it. And that's gonna be maybe a yard pickup. If that, yeah, it looks like they got a yard or two on the play. So that's going to bring up a third down and about nine to go. Clock ticking. 10.46 left in this first quarter. 0-0 zero, zero the score. Opening drive here for the Aspen Skiers. Back to pass. Looking. Throws that ball up. He's got a man. And that one is nearly caught. Wow. Morris was on that. And number four for your Steamboat Sailors, Cody Mousley. It's good to have him back in the lineup. He missed last week's blowout win against Salida. Fortunately, they did not need him because he has been, uh, well, an integral part of the Steamboat Sailors 2021 campaign. Fourth down, long to go. Eight yards for the first. Ball marked down at the 40. Uh, now it's going to be a punt. Interesting play. Line drive. That one's going to drop down at about the... 30 and roll to the Sailor 25. Sailors didn't have anyone deep because it was it was just lined up in the shotgun but they had a what looked like a running back off to the right of the quarterback lined it up a little further back in the backfield and he ended up doing the old Australian rules punt so it was like a pooch kick. Alright we're getting situated here. So the Steamboat Sailors will start their opening drive first and 10 from the 24 and a half yard line. Sailors moving left to right on your radio dial. Steamboat breaks the huddle. Cade Gideon, the sophomore quarterback under center. He's got two men in the backfield. Larnum, who had a big day against Salida. And of course, Finn McMissel. Inside handoff to Russell. Finn Russell, hey, he picks up a yard or two. And that's going to bring up a second and long. It looks like they, he just got back to the to the line of scrimmage. So again, the ball inside the 25, down at about the 24 and a half yard line. We got a big crowd here, or at least they're sounding big below us. We're on top of the press box right now. Normally, when I call these games in the fall, it's snowing and dark, so I'll take this sunny and windy. Is this thing running? It, yeah. I did not touch anything. And a handoff over the left side of the line. Positive yards for Finn Russell. He brought literally the entire skiers team with him 
and he picked up positive yards. About seven. So that's going to bring up a third and three for your Steamboat Sailors. You know, the Sailors want to slow things down here. Talking to Coach Apple, this Aspen team will run a hundred and some odd plays in one half. That's a game's worth. Sailors once again breaking the huddle. Gideon under center. Looks like shots wide to the left. Two, two running backs in the backfield. Handoff to Larnum. He stumbles, picks up a couple yards. It's going to be close to a first down, but short. So it looks like it's a, a punting situation, but it's fourth and about a yard, maybe a half a yard to go. So let's see what the Sailors are doing. It looks like they're keeping their offense on the field. Sailors break the huddle and it looks like they're going to go for it. You've got Russell and Larnum, James Larnum, in the backfield for your Steamboat Sailors. And, whoa, that's going to be close. Is that a quarterback sneak? No, Larnum takes it up. Let's see where they spot it. Hometown crowd feels like they should have stopped him, but I think they got it. Yep, they're giving it to your Steamboat Sailors. So the hometown fans not exactly excited about that spot, but we'll take it on the Steamboat side. First and 10 for your Steamboat Sailors on a gutsy fourth and inches. Sailors send two receivers off to the right, two to the left, spreading it out. One man in the backfield, that's Larnum. Russell in the slot to the left, look for him to get it. That's complete over the right side. First down, Sailors, big number 15. Jamison Tracy with the catch. And your Sailors have made their way into Aspen skier territory. So first and 10, ball marked down at the 47 yard line. It's not beautiful out, is it? <laughs> yeah, it does not get much better than this. I could, a little less wind would be nice. So hopefully you can hear me. But uh, it is, we've got a brisk wind. Two receivers to the left, uh, to the right, one to the left, one man in the backfield, back to pass. No, a handoff, Larnum sweep, jet sweep over the right side, cuts it up, first down. Sailors, so a 12 yard pickup there. And we've got a bit of a thunder and lightning one two punch with James Larnum and Finn Russell. Although Russell's, I mean, uh, Larnum's not afraid to run between the tackles. He had a 75-yard touchdown run last week against Salida. Sailors break the huddle. We've got two receivers in tight, three, two, two in tight to the left, one man in the backfield, that's Russell. Tracy off to the right. No, that's Jay Camrick. And the handoff to Russell. Russell gets met by a slew of skiers in the backfield. That's going to bring up a second down and long, about 12 or 13. Not the direction that Steamboat wants to go. Sailors can get a first down here if they can move the ball down to about the 26-yard line. Sailors moving left to right, white and red tops, black pants. Ben shot wide to the left. Tra uh, Jameson Tracy to the left. Handoff, cuts it back. Russell, and they are keying on Finn Russell right now. And so that, that right there is going to bring up a third and a long 13 here. Looks like a passing situation. Five fifty-nine and counting left in this first half. Clock still runs with a running play. Cody Mousley bringing the play in from the sideline. Jamison Tracy checking out for your Steamboat Sailors. 
Steamboat breaks the huddle. You've got shot wide to the right. Mousley to the left. Russell in the backfield. And Gideon from the gun. Gideon back to pass, looking. And we've got a quick whistle. That ah, looks like it's going to be either a false start or there was contact made by the defense. Let's see what the call is here. False start against the Sailors. So that'll march Steamboat back another five yards. They'll redo the third down, but now it's third and about 20. Ball marked down to the 46 yard line. The sophomore quarterback's got an arm though. And the Sailors cranked up the passing game last week against Salida. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. One man in the backfield, that's Larnum. Back to pass, Gideon looking, standing in the pocket. He's got a man, throws it downfield, looking for Russell, and just overshot him. So that's gonna bring up a fourth and long, and you gotta think that this is a, a punting situation here for your Steamboat Sailors. I'd like to thank Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. Go see Skip and the gang at Alpine Lumber for all your building materials. Also a big shout out to Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. And they come highly recommended. In fact, my vehicle just came from Russell's. They did a wonderful job. Got into a little bit of a fender bender, had to replace both driver's side doors. A pleasure to work with Phil and Terry. Punting situation here. Finn Russell has plenty of time. Big, booming kick. That one is going to land at the inside the 20, and it's going to scoot out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. So a good punt for your Steamboat Sailors. Aspen will start first and 10 from their own 15. Aspen in their gray and white, charcoal gray and white uniforms. Nothing, nothing to score. You are tuned to KTYV, Steamboat Springs. So Aspen lining up from the gun. Man in motion right to left. And a quick pass. And Aiden Finn, Flynn is the quarterback. He's a sophomore. And he's got a cannon. <laughs> he just... They run a lot of timing patterns. Sailors need to mark these guys right off the line and chuck them. Two receivers stacked to the left. Man in motion, right to left, excuse me. Jet sweep over the right side. Sailors read it. Gets the edge though, and he's gonna run a long way for maybe a yard. So that's gonna bring up a third and long. Judd Gertman on the carry. Looks like Ben shot on the tackle with a little bit of help from Finn Russell. Pretty much any time there's a tackle on the field, Finn Russell's involved. He's got a nose for the ball. Uh-oh, Sailors look like they jumped. And we've got a flag on the play. It is windy today. <laughs> So five yard penalty, false start, or uh, offside for your Steamboat Sailors. That marches them back. Flynn is the quarterback. Two receivers, three receivers off to the left. Ball on the right hash mark. One receiver to the right for Aspen. Coaches change the play. One man in the backfield running from the gun here. Flynn hands it off inside. Sailors read it, in, coming up big. Finn McMissile throws his body and makes a beautiful tackle. Open field there as they had it spread out. That's going to bring up a fourth and long. Aspen kind of running a Nintendo, Super Nintendo type of offense. They line up this crazy punt. Sailors don't put anybody back. They've got, looks like an eye formation from the gun. He's going to pitch it back. Here comes that punt again. Side saddle. It's going to land down. Steamboat's going to let it bounce. 
And the Sailors will have good field position at their own 41-yard line. I'd like to thank Steve Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, tools, plumbing, grills, garden, and more. Go see Bridget and the gang. Steamboat Ace Hardware, quality products, West Steamboat in Curve Plaza. 0-0 zero, zero the score, 318 left in this first quarter. Second possession for your Steamboat Sailors. They were able to move the ball down the field, but then penalties got them in trouble and they started heading in the wrong direction on their opening drive. Let's see if they can correct those mistakes and make something happen. Jamison Tracy wide to the left, shot to the right here. Ball on the right hash mark, two men in the backfield. Pitch over to Russell, over to the left side. Russell's got some blockers in front of him. Cuts it inside, picks up four or five yards. Still on his feet, driving, gets the first down, and he's got seven Aspen skiers on his back. Gotta, gotta love me some Finn Russell. He's been doing that since he was a freshman. Holy moly, Batman, it's windy. I, I think I'm gonna need to like get tied down up here. <laughs> Scott, our cameraman, Spielberg. <laughs> Scotty Kane working the camera right now. He's he's had to uh, he's holding on to it with dear life. We don't want that thing to blow away. We've got one receiver wide to the right. That looks like Hambrick. Inside, no handoff over jet sweep over the left side. First down, Sailors. Number 22 with his first carry of the game. That's Reeves Kirby, the junior running back. A little off speed pitch there. The Sailors have got a full stable of running backs. Hambrick ran the ball for the first two games really well. Finn McMissile, Finn Russell has been running it all season long. He's a beast. James Larnham came up big last week against Salida. And Reeves Kirby is like a, a great changeup pitch. Although he's not slow. One receiver wide to the right. Looks like we've got a timeout here. Aspen Skiers coaches not happy with the way that the Steamboat Sailors have been matriculating the ball down the down the gridiron. I'd like to thank our friends at the all-new Steamboat Motors, Ford, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram Trucks with store-to-door -door service. Shop them online at SteamboatMotors.com. Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat on Highway 40. Also a big shout out to the Paoli Group with Colorado Group Realty. And right now your Steamboat Sailors have really good real estate with the ball second and short at the Aspen Skiers 30-yard line. If you want good real estate, well, let the Paoli team help you. They've got all your real estate needs covered. Buying, selling, ranch land, condos, commercial, you name it, they do it. They've got expertise. So, skiers are fired up. Coach has the entire team on the sideline. They break, run back out to the field. Steamboat Sailors are ready to go. Second down, about a yard to go for the first. Looks like Jamison Tracy off to the right. Fakes the handoff, roll off to his right. Gideon's got a man, Bogans, wide open, caught it. He's at the 10, five, down the two yard line to the big tight end. And your Steamboat Sailors are knocking on the door with a first and goal with a 25, 26, seven yard pickup there for Bogan, the tight end. A great little play action. Gideon fakes the handoff. It looked like the entire offense was running a jet sweep off to the left. Gideon rolls it back to the right. He's got Bogan wide open. Hits him in the soft part of the zone. And Bogan takes it down to the two and a half yard line. First and goal, Sailors. Gideon sending three receivers off to the left. One to the right. That looks like shot off to the right. He's got Russell in the backfield. Handoff inside. Russell takes it between the tackles. Touchdown, Sailors. So a nice drive for your Steamboat Sailors. And with 148 left in this first quarter, your Steamboat Sailors on the scoreboard with a Finn Russell touchdown. 
I think my pen blew to Kansas. <laughs> oh well, I'll do my best remembering things, which is not not one of my strong points. It's all right, Scott. You brought the HDMI cable. Your job is done for the day. Yeah, you're good. You get a big pass. So. So Sailor's lining up for the extra point. The freshman kicker, Charlie Reisman, accounted for eight points. A field goal and five extra points last week against Salida. Let's see if he can pick up where he left off. Here comes the snap, the hold by Gideon, the kick, and it is good. Your Steamboat Sailor's on the board just like that. 7-0 with 148 left in this first quarter. So a nice drive for your Steamboat Sailors. They started with the ball at their own 42-yard yard line. A nice mix of runs and passes. Big completion to Bogan. For 27 yards from Gideon. So the Sailors doing a good job here. Keeping the skiers guessing. And again, what we don't want to do is, is let this Aspen team get rolling because they can score quickly. So Sailors getting set for the kickoff. Aspen's got, looks like Aiden Flynn, who's the quarterback, back deep to return, as well as Jesus Morales. Jesus, I'm imagining is how he pronounces it. So Charlie Reisman, looks like there was a, some sort of a personal penalty because the kickoff is uh, from the skiers 45 yard line a little bit closer than normal Reisman should put this one in the end zone no problem big high kick and that one is going to go land right down in the end zone and it'll be first and 10 from the Aspen skiers 20 nice to see some fans in the sand stands here we've got a big student section they're making a bunch of noise sailors though have quieted them down a little bit here with that getting that first score of the game even their first drive if they hadn't gotten into penalty issues they were moving the ball Aspen from the gun. Receivers spread everywhere. No one in the backfield. Quick pass, quick catch. And that's a first down. And big number 88. I do not have him on my program. But uh, on the tackle, Ben Bogan. So a first down for the Aspen Skiers. They break the, they don't even go to the huddle. They've got two receivers off to the right. Flynn, the quarterback, he's got a running back right behind him. He's in the gun. Two receivers in tight to the left. Inside handoff. Sailors read it. And number six, Storm Silich picks up maybe, gets maybe back to the line of scrimmage. I think he may have lost a half a yard. Look like Bogan and Russell in on the tackle. Sailors stopping the run. Two receivers off to the right wide, two in tight to the left, one man in the backfield looking to pass. Got a man in his grill, throws that ball up. And that could have been face guarding by Cody Mousley. No whistle, no flag, and it's going to be an incomplete pass. And student section not very happy right now with a few choice words to the referee 101 left in the first quarter seven nothing to score sailors on top with a finn russell two and a half yard run two receivers off to the right sailors adjusting here on their their defense flynn the quarterback has got Gertman in the slot. And back to pass, looking off to his right. That's complete. And he's got a man in front of him, a little flare pass with blockers in front. Larnum in on the tackle for your Steamboat Sailors. 
Noah Aiken made the catch, and that's going to be a first down for Aspen as they get the ball over the 50-yard line down to the Sailors' 49. Aspen moving right to left in your radio dial. You can watch this game at the Steamboat Radio YouTube channel. Flint from the gun, nobody in the backfield. Three receivers to the right, two to the left. Looking, got a man. Complete to Aiken. Mousley on the coverage with some help from Larnum and James and Reeves Kirby. So Aspen on the march and they're doing it quickly. Getting chunked yards here. Ball down to the 35 yard line. First and 10. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Sailors off sides. Sailor jumped in the neutral zone and they blew the quick whistle. And that's gonna be a five yard penalty. Excuse me, the quarterback is actually Nate Thomas, number 19. Nate is a sophomore. Three receivers off to the right, two to the left. They're on the left hash mark, man in motion. Jet sweep over the right side. Sailors read it, but he gets the edge, and a nice job by Finn Russell from the back and Chris Morris from the front. Excuse me, Jamison Tracy over there as well in on the tackle. Clock is running. 30 seconds left in this first quarter. 7-0, Sailors on top. But that five-yard pickup brings up a second down and about five to go. Ball inside the 30 down to the 29. One man in the backfield. Two receivers in tight to the right. Three to the left, down the right sideline. That's caught. Touchdown. So a beautiful pass and catch by the Aspen Skiers. And it looks like number 21, Aiken. Noah Aiken with the touchdown. And he had him down the sideline. Sailor's got to bump these guys off the line. You get that five yards to let them know that you're playing football. Aspen team showing how explosive they can be. 7-6 the score, lining up for the two-point conversion. They've got their spread completely out. Two receivers to the right and left. Ball's in the central part of the field. Quarterback looking back. Nate Thomas getting a new play. Thomas throws it off to the right, looking to the back. And that's going to be a flag. That was a good call by the referee as the defensive back, Ben Shot for your Steamboat Sailors. He's got to turn and look at the quarterback. He can't just push the receiver out of bounds. He's like, me? Really? No. And if he had, he would have realized that ball was going out of bounds anyway. So that's going to push the ball up to half the distance to the goal, which is at about the two yard line, two and a half yard line. Eight seconds left in this first quarter. Aspen looking to get the two-point conversion here after the touchdown. 7-6, Sailors on top for the moment. Inside handoff, Sailors read it. Sailors with a gang tackle. We had a flotilla in the backfield. Ben Bogan making the Aspen running back walk the plank. And number six goes down, Storm Silich. What a great name. So the Sailors preserve, preserve that narrow one-point lead. I'd like to thank Matt Kempton and the gang with Steamboat Roofing for all your roofing needs, from minor repairs to complete replacement. Go to SteamboatRoofing.com. Help, helping the Sailors raise the roof after every, every victory. So, Sailors are going to send Ben Shot. it looks like. Jamison and Tracy are going to be. So, Shot 
and Reeves Kirby are your middle guys. Back deep for your Steamboat Sailors. Finn Russell. And it looks like Hambrick, but I can't tell. Could be sh could be Jamison Tracy. Eight seconds left in the first. Here comes the kick. It's a toe kick, old school, and that one is going to bounce out of bounds. Sailors are going to get great field position. So the Steamboat Sailors are going to get it first and 10 from their own 45-yard line. And for one play, they will be moving left to right, and then they will switch sides with the end of the quarter. Big shout out to Mike Deemer and the gang at Johnny B. Goods, bringing you the shake and bake play of the game. We missed Deemer's colorful color commentary. Johnny B. Goods, easy to find in the sunny side of Lincoln Avenue between 7th and 8th, downtown Steamboat Springs. They will be closed for part of mud season as they do some remodeling. So first and 10 for your Steamboat Sailors, eight seconds left in this first quarter. Ball on the Sailors 45. Sailors send trips off to the left with Jamison Tracy wide, Finn Russell sort of in the middle, and it looks like Bogan's in the slot. Back to pass, Gideon. Gideon's gonna get some here, throws it down the right sideline, had shot open, just overthrew him. Gideon showing just how much of a gun he has. He gained 30 pounds from his freshman year to his senior, I mean to his sophomore year. And he could still use a few pounds on him. But uh, he was thrown to the Wolves last year. He's shown great composure this year. And he played great last year. But to start as a freshman, that's crazy in high school football. Because you think about it, how much... <laughs> I was 5 feet and weighed 110 pounds as a freshman <laughs> in high school. Three receivers off to the left. One to the right. Finn Russell in the backfield, inside handoff. And we've got a quick whistle here. And I don't know if that's because of the end of the quarter or the Sailors had a false start. Sailors had a false start. Jake Hamrick looked like he may have moved. So that'll push the ball back and the Sailors will get a second and long. But uh, the quarter, oh, they're putting three seconds back on the clock. A lot of hand movement right now from the referees. like to thank Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank with locations in Steamboat and Craig. Go see PJ and the gang. So the Sailors are going to march the wrong direction. It'll be, be a second down and 15 ball at the 40-yard line, their own 40. Sailors, three seconds left in this first quarter. Clock stopped. Under center is Gideon. Gideon pitches the ball to Russell. Russell takes it over to the left side. He's got room. Russell finds the sideline. He's going to be really close to a first down. I, he picked up about 12. He needed 15. Gets out of bounds. Sailors now in Aspen territory. So I believe the Sailors will have it third down and about three to go for the first. Chains need to move. The ball is on the skiers 48 yard line. I'd like to thank Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend. Go see Skip and the gang at Alpine Lumber for all your building material needs. Employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend. The 
Aspen skier cheerleaders firing up the crowd with a little shake your booty uh, cheer. I haven't heard that one. I don't think they were doing that back in 1983 when I was in high school. <laughs> I don't think we were allowed to shake our booties. So the Sailors send two receivers off to the right, one to the left. One man in the backfield, that's Russell Mann in motion. And an inside handoff, bouncing it to the outside is Russell. He's got room, spins, still on his feet. First down, down to the 30, still bubbling, stumbling, ball down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The question is, was he down? They're saying he was down, so Russell got lucky. He, he spit the ball up a couple of times last week as well, which is not characteristic in his football career. But the ball is down. Sailors have a first and 10 inside the 30 down to the 28-yard line. So a huge run for Finn Russell. He bounced it, cut it inside, put his foot in the turf, bounced it outside. And then he's just hard to bring down, man. He just keeps those legs running. Just like his legs, the clock's running with 11.30 left in this second quarter. Sailors on top, 7-6. Knocking at the door at the 28-yard line of Aspen. Under center is Gideon. Two men in the backfield. Inside handoff. Positive yards there for Larnum. And he's going to pick up three or four. Ball's going to be inside the 25. Clock still ticking, and that's just what the Sailors want. They are going to be patient here. This Aspen team likes to play, like they like to play football. They like to run a lot of plays, and the Sailors are going to try to make them a bit antsy here by just being patient. Second down, about six, seven to go for the first ball, 25-yard line. Gideon under center, two men in the backfield. Back to pass, Gideon, pressure, throws the ball down the sideline, and that's caught. No, incomplete. It was in shot's hand. He just couldn't bring it, bring it in. Good defensive play on that far side by number 21, Noah Aiken, who had the touchdown for the skiers. He made a great defensive play. And he was he got his head back and was looking at both the ball and the quarterback and was able to just get his hand in on it. So that stops the clock with the incomplete pass. That's going to bring up a third down and about seven to go. Ball on the 25-yard line of Aspen. This is certainly four-down territory for your Sailors. Two men in the backfield, Gideon under center. Receivers to the right and left. And that's going to be a quarterback keep. And Gideon, he picks up positive yards inside the 20. He's going to be real close to the first down, but I think he's going to be short. Judging from the spot, it's going to bring up a fourth and a little under a yard. Sailors are definitely going to go for it. Clock is rolling with 10-10. Positive run there for the sophomore quarterback. Larnum coming out, Hambrick coming in. Ball inside the 20 down to the 18. Sailors have converted on their other fourth down attempt. Let's see what they do. They come from the gun. They've got Russell in the backfield. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Jamison Tracy, the lone receiver to the right. We've got a penalty from the backfield. Delay of game, Steamboat. So that's going to back the Sailors up five yards. Now, the Sailors, they could attempt a field goal from here. Ball's on the 25-yard line. Reisman showed he can kick the ball 40-plus. But the Sailors look like they're going to go for it. So a fourth and six to go for the first. They need to get inside the 20 down to about the 18 and a half yard line. They've got shot wide to the right. Russell and Tracy to the left. 
Throws that ball. That one's caught by Bogan. Bogan on his feet. Drops it. Oh, stripped. Now the skiers have it. Turning it back the other way. And Bogan makes the tackle at the 22-yard line. So Bogan caught the ball and then I think dropped it. Oh, and that's a heartbreaker because he had the first down and he was inside the 10-yard line. But that's high school football, kids. Oh, my. So Aspen's going to get the ball back as the Sailors were knocking on their door with a first and 10 from their own 22-yard line. Heartbreaker there. Sailors still on top, 7-6. 8.52 left in this first half. Nate Thomas, the quarterback here, has got Judd Gertman in the slot to the left. Aiken also to the left. And Aspen Skier's a little confused. And they're going to call a quick timeout. Like to thank uh, our friends at Russell's Auto Salon, your full service premier auto body shop where you always meet by accident. Russell's Auto bringing you the collision of the game, and we've already seen a few of them. It doesn't matter what sport we're playing. The Sailors get up for Aspen, and Aspen gets up for Steamboat. Nice little mountain town rivalry, whether it's hockey, football, lacrosse, soccer. I think there's a mutual respect. But, yeah, a lot of good athletes in these mountain towns. So the skiers from the timeout break. They're going to send three receivers off to the right, one to the left. Ball on the left hash mark. Sailor showing blitz. So Larnum is threatening. Back to pass quick. And that one's nearly, oh, nearly picked off. A great defensive play by Hambrick. Jake Hambrick knocks that ball to the turf, but you know he's going to see that one in his sleep. So that's going to stop the clock, bring up a second down, 10 to go. Ball at the skier's 22-yard line. They're going to stay in the spread formation with three receivers off to the right, one to the left, one man in the backfield from the gun is Thomas. Thomas looking to pass to his left. He's got a man open and he's got blockers. Little wheel play there as they get it to the left. They pick up the first down and about a 15 yard pass and catch for the skiers down that left sideline. He throws it literally laterally across the, re the receiver literally steps back, catches it And then he's got blockers in front of him. So they've run that play successfully a couple of times. So that brings up a first and 10 ball at the 35 yard line. The skiers own 35. Thomas from the gun. Once again, looking to the sideline. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. They're on the inside of that left hash mark. One man in the backfield. Looking off to his right, throwing. That one's going to be, oh, man. Reeves Kirby should have picked that off. Had it in his hands, broke it up. So the Sailors are getting some opportunities here. That stops the clock. Reeves Kirby nearly had that, and he had green grass and high times in front of him, man. There was nothing but the end zone. He makes that catch, but a good play to knock the ball down. We'll take it from the gun. Inside handoff, Sailors. Don't read it, and it's going to be a pickup of about eight or nine. They've been stopping the run. Aspen doing a good job spreading things out. Took it right up the central part of the of the defense. Picks up eight yards on the play. That's going to bring up a third and about three for the first. Ball marked down at the 42-yard line of Aspen. From the gun, inside handoff. And that's going to be real close to a first down. Let's see what the call is here. 
Yeah, they've got the first down with that spot. So that will stop the clock with 8.08 as the chains get set. Clock now running. 7-6, Sailors on top. 8.03 left in this first half. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. One man in the backfield. Ball between the hashes. Back to pass. Watson looking. Complete. Quick little slant. Mousley on the play. And I don't have I don't have number 80 on my program. Thinking Charlie Williams. Once again, Thomas from the gun. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Aspen with the ball at their own at their own 50 yard line. Well, it's somebody's 50. They're sharing the 50. Back to pass. Throws it down the gut. That one's picked. Finn Russell's got some room. He's over the 45. Down to the 40. He's hard to bring down. Down to the 30. Ball down. Oh, man. Aspen gets lucky as Finn Russell puts it to the turf again. Sailor's having a hard time holding on to it. They are, are they going to call the ball down? Let's see what they call. So it is Aspen ball. Russell made a beautiful play, stepping right in front of that ball. Read the quarterback's eyes. They've been scouting him. But that's going to bring up on the turnover a first and 10. But the ball is going to be moved back to the 32-yard line of Aspen. So it was a positive play for the Sailors. Here comes the snap. Man open on the right. Go get that ball. When he throws those balls out laterally like that, I think coach has got to tell him, just grab the ball anyway. And that's what Mousley did. Because you never know, if he throws it backwards, that's a lateral. That's a live ball. So that's going to bring up a second down and 10 with the incomplete pass. Aspen, skiers don't go to the huddle. They just look to the sideline for the play. Currently, they've got two receivers off to the left. Brady hates field and two to the right. Ball on the right hash mark inside handoff. Sailors, nice play there. Sailors don't read that one again. So two big runs there. That's number two, Carlson Glettenberg. Bogan Russell in on the tackle for your Steamboat Sailors. That's going to bring up a third down and three. Sailors on top, 7-6. Seven, 6-40 six, six left in this first half. Inside handoff, no play action. Quarterback keep. He's running, and he gets the first down, slides it in. Nice baseball slide there. Picks up five yards and a first down, and he's going to be down to the 47-yard line. Their own 47. So first and 10 for the Aspen Skiers. They're back on the march. Clock ticking with 622 left in this first half. Sailors on top, 7-6. Clinging to a one-point lead here. Oh, high snap over his head. Ball down. Sailors read it. Big sack. Bogan in on the sack. As that was a high snap, went over the quarterback's head. Nate Thomas, not his fault. And Bogan was right in his grill. So that's going to bring up a second down in a country mile. Looks like about 23 yards for the first. Maybe more. Ball marked down to the 35-yard line of Aspen. From the gun. Trips off to the right. Throws that ball. Screen pass. That one's complete. Oh, that's going to be close. He picks up. Gets almost down back to the original line of scrimmage. So that'll bring up a third and 11. Number six caught the screen pass. Storm Silich. Sounds like a private eye. Should have his own television show. But Storm Silich, in all seriousness, is still down on the turf. So we've got a timeout on the field third down about 12 to go for the first ball is going to be marked down at about the 45 yard line a little over the 45 45 and a half 
of Aspen. 5.25, clock stopped with the injury timeout. Sailors on top, 7-6. Remember, you can listen and watch this game on the Steamboat Radio YouTube channel. We've got Spielberg behind the camera right here. Scotty Kane, former Steamboat resident, now teaching skiing and building houses in the Roaring Fork Valley. And he's good, very good at both of those things. Unfortunately, we did not get to make some turns today. But a the folks at Ajax are probably happy about that. Ski patrol at the very least. Because I think it's been about 15 or 20 years since we've skied together. It's like a high school reunion. <laughs> we may have hurt each other or hurt ourselves. Thir third and 12, three receivers off to the right. Another quick pass. They tried that bubble screen thing off to the right. And they pick up a couple of yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down, I believe, and about nine. So fourth and long. Aspen keeping their offense on the field. They're not afraid. They run a lot of plays, and they like to pass the ball. Nate Thomas, the quarterback. He's got uh, two receivers off to the right, two to the left, one man. Oh, this is going to be a punt. They do that pitch back to the backfield, and that's a good punt, but it's going to go all the way down to the Sailors' end zone, and the Sailors will get it first and 10 from their own 20. So Steamboat holds. That's a big play. I'd like to thank Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more, offering you knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. West Steamboat at Curve Plaza. So the Sailors are going to send two receivers off to the right, two to the left. One man in the backfield, that's Hambrick. Gideon from the gun, kind of a pistol formation here, back to pass. Rolling off to his right. Now he's going to step up. He's got a man in his grill. Picks up positive yards, though. So he picks up two or three on the play. Got tackled from behind. Big number 77, Ahmad Hamani. Lost his shoe and is uh, a little roughed up on the play. So he'll come out. So that's going to bring up a second down, about seven, maybe six. Scoreboard saying six, I'll, uh, seven, I'll say six and a half. Clock's rolling here with 3.56 left in this first half. Sailors on top, 7-6. Steamboat sending one receiver off to the right, one to the left. Shot off to the right. Looks like Jameis Tracy here to the left. Two men in the backfield. Hand off. Uh-oh, ball down again. And it's picked up, scooped up, and Carey, look out. He takes it over to the left side, and Aspen's going to have great field position at the 20-yard line. So the Sailors have coughed up the ball about four times today. Math is not my strong point. My memory doesn't work so good anymore. But it's been three or four times that they've coughed that ball up, and I am sure Coach Apple will not be happy about that. 3.35, clock stopped with a turnover. Aspen now gets great field position at the Sailors' 21-yard line. Aspen sends two receivers to the right. Steamboat's going to call a timeout here to try to calm the troops. Whew. Both teams have been a little loose with the ball. It is high school football, and we're playing it in March. Oh, no, April, which is very strange. But I'll take it. Longer days. I have hung out in below freezing weather on the top of this press box for numerous games and frozen my tuchus off. I will take this. Little windy, but the wind has died right now. Beautiful sunny day here in Aspen. If you've never been to Aspen High School, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see Thai Hack Buttermilk off to the left or right, depending on where you're looking. And uh, right behind the high school sits Aspen Highlands, which is arguably one of the most fun ski areas to ski, especially if you're from Steamboat, because it's wicked steep, as we say, in the Boston area. Uh, 
All right, we got receivers to the right and left. One man in the backfield, inside handoff, and a good job by Steamboat and Finn Russell and Ryan Hansen in on the tackle. He picks up maybe a yard on the play. So Russell, that inside handoff had been working very well for Aspen, especially as they spread the field out. But Russell able to come in from his linebacker position, getting some help from the lineman Hansen from the gun. Thomas. He's got two receivers to the left, two to the right, one man in the backfield. The entire team looking back to their coach as the signals are being waved in. Hand off, oh, and it picks up positive yards. Look like Bogan had him in the backfield. Number six, Storm Silich with a carry. Picks up four or five yards. That's going to bring up a third. And about four to go for the first, maybe five. Ball marked down to the 15-yard line, so they are in the red zone. Aspen knocking at the door. Sailors need to batten down the hatches here with 2.22 left in this first half. Man in motion, left to right, rolling off to his left, throwing, got a man, touchdown. Aspen on the board. So Nate, Nate Thomas rolled off to his left and Aiken ran from his lined up on the right ran a crossing pattern and was wide open in the back in the end zone so just like that aspen makes it a 12-7 game 215 left in this second quarter plenty of time for your steamboat sailors aspen lining up for the two-point conversion looking to make it a seven-point lead from the gun back to pass throwing it up to the corner oh they're gonna Shot held on that play. That's a good call. He didn't need to. If he looks back, that ball was thrown out of the end zone by Nate Thomas. So half the distance to the goal line puts it at the two and a half yard line. So once again from the gun, Thomas the quarterback, and we've got uh, looks like an illegal procedure perhaps, or did sailors or did the sailors jump? Everybody's pointing at everybody else. Looks like a Tarantino movie. Oh, this one's going to go against the sailors. So. They move the ball three inches closer to the goal line. Clock stopped with 2.15 left in this first half. Sailors down 12 to seven. Boy, would they like to stop this extra point. Under center, looks like it's gonna be a quarterback keep. He bounces off. And just like that, Nate Thomas spins into the end zone and that makes it a 14-7 game with the two-point conversion. 2.15 left in this first half. Plenty of time for your Steamboat Sailors. Get their two-minute offense going. I'd like to thank the all-new Steamboat Motors. Steamboat Motors, new Ford, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram trucks with store-to-door service. Shop them online at SteamboatMotors.com. Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat on Highway 40. Also a big shout-out to the Paoli Group with Colorado Group Realty. Let Chris Paoli and his team help you with all your real estate needs. Whether you're buying or selling, the Paoli Group has you covered. So, Sailors, Fumbleitis has hurt them here. Otherwise, they may be winning this football game. But you got to win in all phases, and you've got to hold on to that football. That will drive a coach crazy. Sailors in white, red numbers, black pants, if you're watching online on the YouTube channel. 
breeze is blowing across the field right now, right into my face. We've got Jamison Tracy and Finn Russell back deep. The punt went out, the last kickoff went out of bounds at about the 40 yard line. So, Charlie Williams, the kicker. Here comes the kick, toe kick, and that is gonna be high, and uh-oh, they got it. It's gonna be a, it will be an Aspen ball. That is, these guys play like a Super Nintendo version of football. They do that chip kick, Sailors, that ball's a live ball. You've gotta get up there and get that football. So Aspen basically kicked the ball down the right side of the field. They chipped it high in the air, and uh, their coverage team got underneath it, and they got the ball. Sailors need to step up and get that ball. If it goes out of bounds, that's fine, but it did not go out of bounds. So first and 10 here for the Aspen skiers at the Sailors 32-yard line. Nate Thomas from the gun. He's got one man in the backfield. That's Storm Silich. Two receivers to the left and right. Inside handoff, no, option play. Quarterback keep over the left side. Looking for the edge, he's got it. Slides down, stays in bounds, so the clock's gonna continue to kick, tick with 1.59 left. Picks up about four yards on the play. And that will bring up a second down and about five and a half. From the gun, Nate Thomas. Gun inside handoff to Storm Silich. Silich met by Hanson, Bogan, and Ivan Reynolds. Ivan Reynolds, first year playing football. Love to have the senior. He's a wrestler. Great to see him out here. So that's going to bring up a third down and about six for the first. Ball inside to about the 29-yard line. Back to pass. Oh, no, a little trickeration. Halfback option off the pitch. Sailors knock it down. Can't, cannot intercept it. Mousley nearly had it. But a nice job by Mousley on that one, just knocking that ball down. That's going to stop the clock with 101 left in this first half. 14-7 the score. That's going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth and about five and a half for the first. Ball down at the 29-yard line. Three receivers off to the right, one to the left. One man in the backfield, that's Storm Silich. Nate Thomas, the quarterback. Thomas drops back, throws it, and that one's batted down. And the Sailors will get the ball on downs with 58 seconds left. Let's see if they've got a hurry up offense. They're gonna need it. Kate Gideon has got a gun. If, if we can give him some time and our receivers can get downfield, he can throw that ball a country mile. Sailors are perfectly equipped to get something going here. Gideon breaks the huddle, sends two receivers off to the left, two to the right. Russell and Tracy off to the left here. From the gun, Gideon back to pass, looking. Crowded pocket, throws that ball up. Bogan couldn't come down with him with it a little over his head. That's going to stop the clock with 53 seconds. Second and 10. Ball at the 29-yard line of Steamboat. Sailors moving right to left in your radio dial. Sailors don't have great real estate right now. They could use better. Let Chris Paoli and his team at Colorado Group Realty, the Paoli Group, help you out with all your real estate needs. Two receivers to the right and left. One man in the backfield. The pitch over the right side. That's Larnum. Larnum cuts it. He's got some room. Positive yards. Spins. He's at the 50. And he is. Oh, he lost the ball. He lost the ball. And it's Aspen's ball. That's the fifth turnover for your Steamboat Sailors. He picked up the first down and then some. Picks up 20 yards on the play. 
had the first down. Looked like he could have been down. 40 seconds left. Aspen gets another opportunity. The Sailors are outplaying this Aspen skier team. And I don't want to say that too loud because right below me is the entire student section. And I think I'm fairly accessible. But Aspen is very opportunistic. Stripping the ball, causing the Sailors to drop it. And quite frankly, the Sailors are being a little careless with the ball. I know they will get a talking to at halftime. From the gun, back to pass. And a little, that was a little screen pass. And that one's complete. Thought they had him. There's a flag on the play. Bogan was in there. Russell was in there. They had their hand on him. It looks like it could be a hold or a block in the back here. I think this is going to come back. And it will. It is a hold. So the play like just stalled. And it's like the sailor stopped. Maybe they knew they got held, but you gotta you gotta play through that. So that's gonna move the skiers back to their own 44 yard line. Sailors will take it. Skiers fans not so happy right now. But they got a 14-7 lead right now, so they can take that to the bank. Sailors right now need to get this stop here. Whistle on the field, trying to get the clock ticking. 28 seconds and counting from the gun. Three receivers off to the left. One, uh, two in tight to the right. Empty backfield. Nate Thomas, the quarterback, looking down the right sideline. He's got a man. And that's going to be a pass interference. So shot has got to turn around. So fa face guarding, they'll call that. But he has got to turn around, and he can't touch the receiver. That's the second time he's been called for that, and that's tough. Now, unlike the NFL, it's not going to be at the spot. It will be a 15-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. The Aspen student section cranking up the cheaters, cheaters cheer as sailors were called with uh, with that pass interference call skiers are going to call a timeout with 11 seconds left in this first half skiers on top 14 7 but i'll tell you sailors have done a lot of great things out here they've got to know when they go into halftime that if they clean things up they can win this game like to thank Matt Kempton and welcome the Steamboat Roofing Gang as a new sponsor of your Steamboat Sailor Sports Broadcast. Steamboat Roofing, for all your roofing needs, from minor repairs to complete replacements, go to SteamboatRoofing.com, helping the sailors raise the roof after every victory. They can do that too. So first and 10 for the skiers, ball marked down to the 46 yard line of Steamboat. Skiers on top, 14-7. 11 seconds left in this first half. From the gun, Nate Thomas. Thomas, oh, a little trickeration, pitches the ball. Halfback option, throwing it downfield. He's got a man, and fortunately he dropped that ball or he was in for six. The ball was thrown by Kyle Tammany. He got the pitch. He's a backup quarterback. He rolled off to his left, got himself planted his feet and threw that ball down the field. He's a lefty, which I think really confuses people. So that stops the clock with eight seconds left. The Sailors got a break there. Two men were wide open, and Cole Kennedy is going to see that one in his sleep as he just bobbled it. Could not come down with it. Officials time out here. Aspen skiers on top of your Steamboat Sailors, 14-7. Four seconds left in this first half. Aspen runs a ton of pass plays, and when they fall incomplete, the clock stops. So, 
It's been a long 40 seconds here. All right, three seconds now left on the clock. Looks like it may be the final play here for the skiers. Two receivers off to the left, three and tight to the right. Back to pass. Throws that ball up, complete over the right side. Cuts it across the middle. Positive yard. Sailors trying to keep him in front of him, and they knock him down. And Charlie Williams picks up about 30 yards. He ran for about 60 across the field, but that's going to do it in the first half as he gets down to the 20-yard line, and he's brought down by Morris, Russell, and a few other Sailors. And so after one half of play, your Steamboat Sailors are down 14 to 7. We're going to be right back with second half action on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. We are KTYV Sports on FM at 105.7 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com.
Gable, Gable hasn't changed at all. One his best friend is Gable. Brian Harvey back live at Aspen High School. Steamboat skier, no, Steamboat Sailors versus the Aspen Skiers. Getting ready for second half action. Sailors down 14-7. Sailors did get on the board first with a three yard Finn Russell touchdown run set up by a 27 yard pass and catch from Gideon, Gideon to Bogan. But fumbleitis, the Steamboat Sailors have put the ball on the turf far too many times. If we can correct that, we can beat this team. We are outplaying Aspen right now, but let's see what happens. Here's that kick. And it's going to bounce out of bounds, and the sales are going to get great, great field position. So what Aspen does, they put it up high, they send it down the sideline, and they really only want it to go about 15 yards. And then their, their kickoff coverage team gets down there. And if the sailors don't have somebody there, they were able to pick that one up, pick one up late in the first half. Fortunately, the Sailors' defense was up to the task. Sailors' defense has been playing great. Had an interception, but the interception ran the ball into Aspen territory, and then Finn Russell put it on the ground. So Sailors break the huddle. Ball is between the right and the left hash marks, right in the center of the field. Marked down at the 35-yard line of Steamboat. Gideon under center. He's got Russell behind him, lone back. Man in motion. And inside handoff, ball's down. And it looks like the Sailors may have recovered. So the Sailors catch a break, but there's, an, there's another fumble. It's getting in their head. James Larnham ran in motion. Russell got the inside handoff. Now Hambrick coming on the field. I'm not sure if, if the ball even got handed off or not, if it was a quarterback running back. Sailor sent shot off to the left. Tracy wide, excuse me, Tracy's wide to the left. Shot wide to the right. One man in the backfield. Uh-oh, bad snap, and that ball's down. So the Sailors 
a little bit sloppy here. And, you know, the key to being a good athlete is to having a short-term memory. I don't care what sport you're playing. You can't be thinking about those mistakes. They got to get past it. Brings up a third and 15 now as the sailors are marching in the wrong direction. Two receivers off to the right, two to the left. One man in the backfield, that's James Larna. Back to pass, Gideon throws that ball, and that one's complete to Tracy. He caught it, he was down, and then the ball, again, this Aspen team, they may be doing a good job stripping the ball. But that ball was loose. Fortunately, he was down. That's going to bring up a fourth and about four. Ball is going to be marked down at the 41-yard line of Steamboat. Does not look like Steamboat's going to punt this. It looks like they're going to go for it. Ten minutes left in this third quarter. 14-7 the score. Skiers on top of your Steamboat Sailors. Sailors sent three receivers off to the right. Bogan, the tight end. Russell and shot and Jamison Tracy to the left timeout sailors I'd like to thank Yampa Valley Bank the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank with locations in Steamboat and Craig helping the sailors take it to the bank Yampa Valley Bank they are lending member FDIC an equal housing lender also like to thank Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend. Go see Skip and the gang at Alpine Lumber for all your building material needs. Easy to find on the other side of the tracks from Walgreens in Steamboat Springs. 9.51 left in the third quarter. Opening drive for your Steamboat Sailors. Three receivers off to the right. One to the left is Jamison Tracy. Gideon from the gun. He's got one man in the backfield. Back to pass. Gideon flushed out of the pocket, and he's going to be sacked. So that's going to be a turnover, and with the sack, the Aspen skiers are going to get great field position. Probably would have been better if Gideon had just thrown that ball down the field, gotten either the incomplete pass or even a long interception, but unfortunately, good pressure here by the Aspen Skiers, and they're going to have great field position at the Sailors 35, first and 10 on the turnover. Two receivers to the left, ball on the right hash mark. Two receivers in tight to the right, one man in the backfield behind the quarterback. That's Storm Silich. He gets the inside handoff. Sailors read that, but he's on his feet. Little jump cut there by Silich. And he's got the first down. Or really, really close. So, so first down for the skiers. Another inside hand up. No, quarterback keep on the play action. Quarterback out to the left. And the chain gang hadn't even gotten set. And Nate Thomas picks up positive yards. And he's going to have it inside the 20. The ball is going to be, well, marked at the 20. And that's going to be a second down and about five to go, even though the chain gang is not sure what's going on right now. From the gun, Thomas inside handoff. Silich picks up a yard or two. And that's going to bring up a third and about four. River King on the tackle for your Steamboat Sailors. And that's going to bring up a third and about three and a half. Clock ticking with after the run play, 9.05 left in this third quarter. Aspen on top, 14-7. Aspen throwing the ball to the right sideline. Touchdown. Number 21, Noah Aiken, third touchdown of the game. Kids a stud, 8.54. 8.54 left in this third quarter. Aspen strikes quickly. 
27 this 20 to 7 is the score 854 plenty of football left sailors need to reorg from the gun going for the two-point conversion nate thomas rolls to his right throws it aiken uh, two-point conversion good so just like that 22-7 So, number 21, Noah Aiken, is who's counted for all the Aspen touchdowns from the hands of Nate Thomas. So the Sailors right now down 22-7, certainly not out. Steamboat just needs to put a, a long, solid drive together. I'd like to thank Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full-service auto body shop, where you always meet by accident. Russell's also Auto Salon, they come highly recommended, bringing you the collision of the game. Give Phil and Terry a call at 879-1515 for all your auto collision needs. They did a wonderful job on my vehicle. Looks brand new. Maybe time for some new snow tires next year. Tried to eke out that fourth season, and that was not a good idea. 8.54 left in this. Left in this third quarter. Kickoff here for the skiers from their own 40-yard line. Steamboat. Jamison Tracy, the lone return man, deep. Here comes the kick. And a little onside kick, and this one's going to go out of bounds. So, man, Aspen very aggressive. I call it Super Nintendo football. And these guys definitely... Going for the onside kick, doing that little pooch kick that they recovered one of them. They throw the ball 75% of the time. They are aggressive. Sailors have had opportunities near interceptions. Finn Russell had a great pick, but then he returned it 20 yards and fumbled it, unfortunately. So let's see what Steamboat can do here, guys. They break the huddle. Shot wide to the left. Russell in the slot. Excuse me, shots wide to the right. Russell also to the right. Sailors looking to the sideline. And the referees. First and 10 for your Sailors from their own 46 yard line. Gideon under center, two receivers off to the right, one to the left. Larnham, the lone running back. Handoff to Larnham over the right side. James cuts it. He's got a skier on his back, and he's cut down for a loss. So Larman couldn't quite find the edge there. Good penetration here by the Aspen skiers defensive line. Hambrick calling the play in. James Larman coming off. And I apologize, I think I was calling James Larman, Larmer for a little bit. Jamison Tracy wide to the left, Russell in the slot, one receiver wide to the right. Back to pass, looking to his left, throws that ball. And that one falls incomplete. It's gonna bring up a fourth down. I think the Sailors may need to punt because it's third and about 15. Although Steamboat may go for it. Hey, 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 hey. 
So Sailor's going for it. Oh, it's a third down, not a fourth. I thought it was fourth and 14. It's third and 14. Two receivers off to the right, back to pass. Gideon throws that ball to the right side of the field. It's picked off. And on that far side, looks like... Can't tell who was in on the tackle there, but... A bummer for your Steamboat Sailors. Another turnover. And it will be Aspen Ball. They'll have it at what looks like the 44-yard line of Steamboat. First and 10. Seven fifty-three left in this third quarter. Sailors need to catch a big break here. You can feel the momentum starting to shift. They had a good, good first half, but Aspen's been able to capitalize on the Sailors' mistakes. Again. Nate Thomas from the gun. He's got one man in the backfield. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. They're on the left hash mark. Inside handoff. And the Sailors read this one as Carson Glett Glettenberg gets hauled down from behind. Look like Ryan Hansen in on the tackle. Bogan over there as well. So that's a two-yard loss. It's a good place to start for your Steamboat Sailors. Clock ticking, 7.30 left in this third quarter. Plenty of time left. Sailors down 22-7. Second down, 12 to go. Ball from the 46 of Steamboat. Aspen moving left to right on your radio dial. Wind starting to pick up. Trips to the right. One receiver to the left. Oh, offsides. It's going to be a false start on Aspen. So that'll march him back five yards. Sailors will take that. It'll bring up a second down and about 17 for the first. Clock probably should have stopped, but it is rolling on. Trips off to the right, one receiver to the left. Sailors bluffing a blitz. Skiers looking to the sideline for the play. Now, oh, high snap. That one goes behind the quarterback, and he's going to just fall on it wisely. So Nate Thomas, another errant snap goes over his head, and that's going to be a big break for your Steamboat Sailors, and that's going to bring up a third and a country mile as the ball is going to be marked inside the 30 down to the 28-yard line of Aspen. Aspen needs to get the ball to the 44-yard line of Steamboat to get a first. Three receivers off to the right, one to the left from the gun. Back to pass. Nate Thomas throws that, and that's complete. Wow. Little slant pattern across the middle. And a nice play there by Jamison Tracy to haul down Brady Hayesfield, who caught that slant. They pick up about 10, 15 yards on the play. That's going to bring up a fourth and about 20. Ball marked down at the 43, 44-yard line of Aspen, and they're going to punt this one. Australian rules punt. They're going to let that one go. It's going to drop down and go into the end zone. So the Sailors will get it first and 10 from their own 20. 534 left in this third quarter. Sailors need to put a drive together here. Call me Captain Obvious if you'd like. Big shout out to Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more. Offering you knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. West Steamboat in Curve Plaza, just off of Highway 40. Ace is a place. So sailors have it first and 10, down 22-7. Shot wide to the left. Two men in the backfield. One receiver to the left. That's Jamison Tracy. And a pitch to Finn Russell. Russell cuts it up. 
Picks up five yards the tough way. Goes over to the left side of the line. And that's going to be a five-yard pickup, and it'll be for second down, five to go. Maybe four. Looks like they gave him six on the play. We'll take it. Clock still rolling. 5.15 left in this third quarter. Sailors down by two scores. 16-point deficit right now. Three receivers off to the right. One in tight to the left. One man in the backfield. Looks like Russell. Inside handoff. And that's Russell. He's got the first down. And he's going to spin down after picking up 15 yards. He's going to be knocked down at about the 42-yard line. So a nice run by the senior running back. Uh, this is smart by the Steamboat Sailors coaching staff. Gain some momentum. Get that run going again. Try to tire this line out and keep the Aspen Skiers offense off the field. Shot is wide to the left. Tracy to the right. Handoff over the left side to Russell. Russell spins. He's got another first down. He's got another first down, and he's going to take it to about the 48-yard line. So first and 10 Sailors as they march their way on the legs of Finn Russell is going to take a, a breather here. Hambrick coming out in his stead. Sailors in the huddle, 422. The clock stopped with the first down. Should start up at any moment now. And Gideon from the gun. Gideon, handoff over the right side of the line, left side of the line. And James Larman picks up positive yards. Let's see where they mark it. Ooh, they didn't give him very much. So he picks up a yard. I thought he got a little bit more, but maybe he touched his knee down. Looks like Russell coming back out on the field. Hambrick coming out. Coming off. Two receivers. One receiver shot wide to the right. Tracy to the left. One man in the backfield. That's James Larman. And back to pass is Gideon. Gideon dropping. Five-step drop. Flushed out of the pocket. Steps up. He's going to run. Cuts it up. He's still on his feet. Spinning. Still on his feet. Over the 40. Close to the first down. And a flag on the play. Aspen fans not happy. I'm wondering if this is a face mask. Oh. This is a penalty on the Sailors. So that's going to hurt. So it must have been a block in the back. So that's going to bring up a second down now in 13. Sailors had the first down with a nifty carry by the quarterback. He was in traffic and did a good job just keeping his legs rolling. Finn Russell coming back onto the field with the play. 319 left in this third quarter. Sailors down 22-7. Ball is going to be marked down in Sailor territory at their own 47 and a half yard line. Sailors moving right to left on your radio dial. Two receivers wide to the right, one to the left. Back to pass, looking to his right. Now he steps up. Gideon now throws. And that's a flag. I'm not sure that was a catchable ball, but the Sailors will take it. That's going to be a pass interference. And the hometown fans are not happy. The ball was a little bit behind Bogan, but he was held for sure. So that'll be a 15-yard penalty. 2.55, clock top left in this third quarter, 22-7. The Sailors are going to be really, really close to the first down because this is a 15-yard penalty, if I'm not mistaken. No. So it will be, I believe, 
second down and about five to go for the first. Sailors need to get down to the 38 yard line of Aspen. Ball now down at, after the penalty at the 42 and a half yard line. Second down, about four to go. Two receivers to the right. One to the left. Under center now, Gideon. He's got Russell in the backfield. Pitch over the right side to Russell. Russell, positive yards. Picks up two. That's going to bring up a third and two. Russell a little slow to get up. That's going to bring up a third down, three to go. Sailor's not getting the benefit of the spot. Clock ticking here with 2.22 left in this third quarter. Sailors break the huddle, sending two receivers off to the right, one to the left. Now two to the left with Russell dropping into the slot on the left side. One man in the backfield, handoff. Sailors spread it out. And a and a positive yard, and it looks like he got the first down. Five-yard carry there for number 22, Reeves Kirby. A little change of pace there. First and 10 for your Steamboat Sailors. Ball's going to be marked down at the 36-yard line of Aspen. Clock still rolling here. 22-7 the score. Aspen on top of your Sailors. Boy, they need to get a score here. Receiver to the right and left. Handoff to Russell over the edge. He's wrapped up, but he shakes that tackle and he takes it nine yards once he turns the corner. Keeps those legs rolling and this is gonna be close to a first down. I don't think he got it. I think it's gonna be a second down and about a yard and a half, maybe a yard for the first. Second and one is what they're calling it. So the ball inside the 30 down to the 23 yard line of Aspen. Sailors knocking at the, at the, at the door. Jameson Tracy off to the left, one receiver to the right. Back to pass, Gideon looking to his right now, to his left, he's got a man, Bogan. Bogan's caught it, inside, down to the 15, first down, Sailors. First down, Sailors, inside the 20 yard line, down to the 15, and why are they bringing it back? Oh, there's a flag on the play. Penalties and fumbles, killing these Sailors right now. So, a huge penalty here, bringing up second down and 12. Hold on the play. Clock now ticking with 52 seconds. Ball. Sailors break the huddle. Second down, about 11 and a half, 12 to go for the first. Ball at the 37 yard line. Oh, Gideon sacked for a loss. Faked the handoff, little play action, rolled back to his left and was met by the entire Aspen Skiers. Deep defensive line, so that's going to bring up now a third and up close to 20. They're saying 16 on the scoreboard, but it looks more. Clock's going to roll down, and they're going to let it roll, and that's going to end the quarter. Sailors flirting with good real estate. Every time they gain it, they get knocked back. When you're looking for real estate, Give our friends at the Paoli Group, Chris Paoli and the Col at Colorado Group Realty, let Chris Paoli and his team help you with all your real estate needs, whether buying or selling. The Paoli Group has you covered. Also a big shout out to Yampa Valley Bank. They are lending Yampa Valley Bank, the only locally owned bank 
with locations in Steamboat and Craig. So, after three quarters of play, your sailors are in a hole, 22-7 to the Aspen Skiers. They've had some moments of brilliance, but penalties and turnovers has cost this team right now. It's third down, and they're saying 16 to go. For the first, two receivers to the right, two to the left, looking, throwing down that right sideline. Bogan was the intended receiver, just a little bit too far. That's going to bring up a fourth down. So uh, it's the ball is in Aspen territory, so you think they're probably going to go for it even though it's fourth and 16 here. Two receivers off to the left, two to the right. One man in the backfield. Gideon from the gun. Bad snap. Hambrick puts the ball down, but he is down. Oh. So a bad snap. Hambrick wisely just grabbed the ball and tried running forward with it. Certainly that was not the play they had called. And so the Sailors turn it over on downs. So all of a sudden the clock is no longer the Sailors' friend. With 11.51 left in this fourth quarter, Sailors down 22-7. Simo needs a big turnover here need to catch a break on the defensive side of the ball and they've had some opportunities here. Aspen back onto the field. Nate Thomas, their sophomore quarterback, has had a good game. He's from the gun. They've got three receivers off to the right, two to the left. Back to pass. Now he's rolling off to his right. Quarterback keep. Steps up. Sailors read it. Now he's coming back the other way. Steamboat on him and a great tackle there. I think that was James Larman. So Larman with a big, big tackle there. And so that is a sack for a loss. It looked like Nate Thomas had some room on that far side. Sailors closed the gap. He tried coming back the other way. And the Sailors D did a good job. So that's going to bring up a second down. About 14 to go for the first. Clock ticking on the sack. Skiers looking to the coaching staff. Milking the clock a little bit. Three receivers off to the right. One to the left. That one's complete to the left. And Noah Aiken with another reception. He's having a big game. Over 100 yards receiving, three touchdowns, two extra points. Not a bad day's work if you can get it. All right, Aspen spreading them out again. Ball first and 10, ball marked down at the Sailors 47 yard line. Aspen going left to right on your radio dial. This is the thumb down play. As they look to the sideline, coaches waving their hands like a conductor. And that's going to be a quarterback keep, and he's going to slide as he rolls around to the right, picks up three or four yards on the play, and that'll bring up a second down and about seven or eight for the first. Clock now rolling, 10-20. Aspen content to run these quarterback keeps and these running plays. Keep the clock running now with a 22-7 lead. Sailors need a big defensive stand here. Nate Thomas looking back to the coaching staff. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. From the gun, back to pass, throws it. And that one goes behind the receiver, falls incomplete. That'll stop the clock and bring up a third down and about six and a half, seven to go. Ball is at about the 44 yard line of Steamboat. 
Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Ball between the hash marks. Ball down, ball down. Sailors on top. Aspen recovers, but that's going to be a loss of four, and that'll bring up a fourth and ten. So a big play for your Steamboat Sailors. As the ball is now is fourth and eleven, ball marked down at the 48-yard line of Steamboat. Aspen substituting players. People coming left, right, and center. Now they're set. Receivers off to the right, one to the left. One man in the backfield, quick pass. He's going to throw that ball up, and it's going to go out of bounds. Good job by Mousley. Let's him go out of bounds. So that's going to be a turnover on downs. That may be the break the Sailors need, but they got a strike here. You are tuned to KTYV Sports on FM at 105.7. Also at 97.7, now coming in crystal clear in downtown Steamboat Springs at 97.7. I got 105.7 in Eagle today on I-70. That's a strong signal. Two receivers to the right, one to the, excuse me, two to the left, one to the right. Pitch to Larman. He cuts it back inside. Larman. Storm Silich with the tackle. He picks up three or four yards on the play. So that'll bring up a second down. Ball is going to be marked in Aspen territory after the three-yard pickup. And it'll be a second down and about seven. Sailors break the huddle. Clock rolling. 8.42 left in this fourth quarter. Sailors down 22-7. Two receivers off to the right. Ball near the right hash mark. One to the left. Back to pass. Gideon under pressure, and he is sacked. So that will bring up a third. And about eight. So the skiers, the sailors need a big, big play here. Ball is on the steamboat side of the 50-yard line at about the 49 and a half of steamboat. Jamison Tracy wide to the left, shot wide to the right. No, that's Hambrick. Two running backs in the backfield with Gideon from the gun. Gideon back to pass. He's got a man, shot, catches it. He's got the first down. So right in front of us here, down the right sideline. First down, Sailors. Clock stops momentarily. No, it should stop momentarily when the chain gang moves, but this timing crew kind of doing what they want to do. Two receivers, three receivers off to the left, one to the right. One man in the backfield. Gideon under center. Inside handoff. Larman. James picks up five, six yards. He goes right up the gut with it. Keeps those legs churning. And that'll bring up a second down and about five. Clock ticking here. Seven minutes and counting. Sailors down 22-7. Ball now down to the 33-yard line of Aspen. Larman coming out. Number 22, Reeves Kirby. Coming in. Kirby's got had a few touches, but he's had positive yards every time he's touched the ball. He's only had a couple, though. Two receivers to the right. Finn Russell in the slot to the right. And back to pass. Rolling to his right is Gideon. Gideon throws. That one's intercepted. He was looking for Finn Russell. Looked like the whole time. And the Aspen skiers read that like a book. And the sailors turn it over. So it'll be first and 10 for the skiers at their own 20 yard line. And now the clock becomes a problem with 628. 
had a 16 point lead. Aspen from the gun. Silich, the running back behind the quarterback. Two receivers to the right and left. Fake handoff, little play action. Quarterback keep. He rolls over to the right, picks up positive yards, and slides down. Quarterback keeper for Nate Thomas. And this is how Aspen kind of killed some time off the clock. Aspen letting that clock run with the receivers to the right and left. One man in the backfield from the pistol. Here comes the snap. Inside handoff. This one's to Silich. Storm Silich with the ball. And he gets wrapped up after a pickup of maybe a yard. Ben Bogan on the tackle. Also in there, number 16, River King, 67, the senior. So that's going to bring up a third and about three and a half for the first. Ball is marked down at the 28-yard line of Aspen. Three receivers, trips off to the left, one to the right, one man in the backfield with the quarterback. Nate Thomas looking to the sideline now. Storm Silich, the lone running back, flanking him to the left, and there's going to be a timeout for the Aspen skiers. Like to welcome him. Matt Kempton and Steamboat Roofing, one of our newest sponsors of Steamboat Sailor Sports. Steamboat Roofing for all your roofing needs from minor repairs to complete replacement. Go to SteamboatRoofing.com helping the sailors raise the roof after each and every victory. Also like to thank Johnny B. Goods Diner bringing you the shake and bake play of the game. Johnny B's easy to find on the sunny side of Lincoln Avenue between 7th and 8th downtown Steamboat Springs. Sailors had a strong first half. They were moving the ball all over the place, but they were having problems turning it over, putting the ball on the ground. They recovered a couple of their own fumbles, but they lost several of them as well. And that play continued here in the second half to the point where you could see that it's uh, affected the Sailors mentally here. Third down three. Sailors need a big defensive stop here. Uh, and that's going to be a false start on the offense, I, I believe. Quick flags and a whistle. So that's going to move them back five yards. That's a big break for your Steamboat Sailors. As that's going to stop the clock with five minutes left. And it'll bring up a third and about nine for the first. The ball is back at the 22-23 yard line of Aspen. Aspen moving right to left on your radio dial. They kick back to Nate, back to pass, throws it, and the Sailors read this, and that's going to be a loss. As Nate Thomas had a man aching wide to the right, he caught the ball but didn't have any blockers in front of him. The Sailors tackled him for a loss, so that's going to bring up a fourth and about 12 ball is going to be marked at the Aspen 20 yard line so you got to think this is a punting situation Aspen does this crazy punt play where they snap the ball to the quarterback who's in the shotgun and he pitches it back to their punter who does a Australian rules football type of punt here we go and rolls off to his side, kicks that one high. Get away from it, boys. Let that one bounce. It takes a steamboat bounce. And that's going to go all the way back to the 22-yard line. So a net punt of two yards. So a big break for your steamboat sailors there. And we'll take it with four minutes left. Let's see if the Sailors can work some quick strike offense here and get on the board. Cut this lead.
Sailors down by 15. 22-7. I was a studio art major, so I may have said 16 earlier in the game. And I may or may not have been wrong. So Sailors ball, first and 10 from the 21-yard line. Gideon under center, receivers to the right and left, pitch over the right side. Larnum has got a bunch of skiers on his back, still churning and burning. And his forward progress is stopped. He did pick up a yard on the play, so that'll bring up a second down and nine. Hambrick coming in with the play. James Alarman coming off. Alarman's had a, a good game. Sailors have been able to run the football. They just... Two running backs in the backfield. Pitch to Russell over the right side. Russell cuts it back, stays on his feet, spins, and is knocked down for a loss. Not for a lack of effort from the senior. So that's going to bring up a third and 14. Sailor sending shot wide to the right. Jamison Tracy off to the left. Ball on the left hash mark. Three receivers now off to the right, including Russell and Bogan. Bogan in at tight end. Back to pass. Gideon throwing it to the end zone. Had a man. Incomplete. Tracy couldn't haul that one down. Good coverage there by Aiken. That kid's played a good game. 2.45. Clock stop. Fourth down. Sailor's got to go for it. So the Sailors on the wide part of the field had three receivers out, tried to drag everybody off to the right and then throw it down that left sideline. Good coverage there by Aiken as Tracy couldn't come down with it. Gideon from the gun, one man in the backfield. Two receivers off to the right, one to the left. Throws it down the middle. Got him in. Oh! Pass incomplete for Finn Russell. He had it in his hand. Bounced up. Couldn't quite bring it back in as he was spinning to try to bring it down. A tough break, and the Sailors are going to turn it over on downs with 2.40 left in this ballgame. Sailors are now praying for a miracle here as they are down 22-7, 240 left in the ball game. They've had some real positive plays. They've just had some crazy bounces with the ball. From the gun, Nate Thomas. In, no, fakes the handoff. Sailor's in the backfield, spins away from the pressure, rolls off to his left, and he's going to get close to the line of scrimmage, but that is going to be a sack. Sailors are going to call a timeout. So that's going to bring up a second down and long. Defensive coordinator Lon Clemenson fired up still. Man, we could still get a couple runs in here, Scotty. Does that look sweet or what? It looks really sweet. We've got we've got Aspen Highlands behind us. It's been closed now for about five days, although I did see some kids skiing. Their winter, Aspen Winter Sports Club still. They've, they've got, they hike and then they've got their own lift. It's a great facility there. Not quite as good as Howlson Hill. Just for the night aspect. <laughs> but uh, beautiful down here in the Roaring Fork Valley. Closing day, steamboat tomorrow. I will be up there. Sailors. Who called the timeout? I guess Aspen called the timeout. Or maybe Steamboat did because they took a little too long, had too many men out of the field. That's a bit of a bummer because down by 15 points with 227 left in this ball game. Those timeouts are gold. So, it's second down, 12 to go. Ball is marked down at the 24-yard line. 
of Aspen. Aspen in gray with white numbers, red highlights. Steamboat, white with red numbers and black pants. Nate Thomas from the gun. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Inside handoff there. Storm Silich carries that ball. And he's going to pick up about five yards on the carry, which will bring up a third. And about seven to go for the first. Ball's going to be marked down at the 29-yard line. Aspen back up. Sailors. Getting some fresh legs out there. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. One man in the backfield. Third down, about seven to go. 155 left in this ball game. Sailors down 22-7. Aspen milking the clock. Skiers from the gun. Inside handoff to Silich. Silich on his feet. Sailors read that. And a big tackle by Hayden Kraft. Number 68. He's a big boy. River King also in on the tackle for your steamboat Sailors. Rivers had a nice game. So that's going to bring up a fourth. Clock ticking here. Down to a minute. So I don't think the Sailors have any more timeouts left. If they did, they would have used them. They had to use two quick timeouts because they had too many men on the field after their initial timeout. So Aspen's going to let this run down and then they're going to call a timeout. Milk the clock as much as they can. And so the clock stops with 45 seconds. 40. He called the timeout. You got to stop the clock. You got to put like five seconds left on the clock. I'm not competitive or anything, but <laughs> just saying. That was a that was a home wind down. He called the timeout at 45, and we've got 39 left on the clock. But not sure the sailors are going to be able to get her done here. Little little too little time. So fourth and five, ball at the 30. The a Aspen's 31, almost 31 yard line, 30 and a half yard line. Sailors have got Chris Morris back deep. Kind of playing as safety. You never know with this lineup what they're gonna do. Now Morris is gonna get back. And again, they snap it to Thomas. Thomas pitches it back. Sailors block the punt. And Steamboat picks it up. That's Mousley. And Cody Mousley gets... So Mousley trying to make something out of nothing there. It will be Steamboat ball. Sailors did get a hand on that punt. They finally figured out... They just pressure that right, left side. It's an interesting lineup that Aspen does. I've not seen, I've seen a, called a lot of high school football games. I've not seen that one. 22-7 the score, 28 seconds left. Sailors have the ball. First and 10, let's see if they can make something happen. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. From the gun, Cade Gideon. Gideon back to pass. Gideon, Gideon looking. Nice spiral. Got a man downfield. Mostly. Mostly couldn't come up with it. So that'll stop the clock with 21 seconds. Big shout out to Scott Kane, a.k.a. Kano, for uh, doing a wonderful job. Steven Spielberg on the camera. Are those Foster Grants that you're wearing? Kane and <laughs> Sunglass. I'm sure you're sponsored, right? All right. Looking good, brother. Looking good. Two receivers to the right and the left. Gideon, quick pass. Hits Jamison Tracy. He goes out of bounds after a pickup of about seven. Stops the clock with 16 seconds left. Ball down to about the 38-yard line. 
it's not a first down no matter what the PA announcer says. Third down and three. Sailors in the huddle with the clock stopped. They'll probably call two plays here, trying to make it respectable. Two receivers, looks like to the right, two to the left. Back to pass, Gideon throws it quick. Looking for Russell, that's gonna stop the clock and bring up a fourth down. 13 seconds left. Sailors down by 15. I'd like to thank Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank with locations in Steamboat and Craig, Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. For all your building materials, go see Skip and the Gang at Alpine Lumber. Also a big shout out to Russell's Auto Salon, where you always meet by accident, bringing you the collision of the game. Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place. Hardware, plumbing, grills, tools, and more. Sailors, quick throw over the left side, and that's going to be a turnover. And 10 seconds left, so the Sailors turn it over after the incomplete pass. And Aspen will get the ball. So a tough loss here for your Steamboat Sailors. Some positive play, but turnovers were the name of this game. And the Sailors had more than five. And that is tough. I'd like to thank Steamboat Motors, the all-new Steamboat Motors, West Steamboat on Highway 40. Shop them online at SteamboatMotors.com with store-to-door service. So Aspen from the gun, I guess this is their victory formation. He's not taking a snap from center yet. He's just going to down it, and that's going to do it. Big shout-out to the Paoli Group with Colorado Group Realty. Let Chris Paoli and his team help you with all your real estate needs. Steebo Roofing, for all your roofing needs, from minor repairs to complete replacement, go to SteeboRoofing.com. Also, like to thank Johnny B. Goods Diner, downtown Steamboat Springs. Well, that does it. Thanks again. We're going to take, we're, we'll be back and we're going to rejoin regularly scheduled programming on your Steamboat Sailor Sports Connection. We are KTYB Sports on FM at 105.7 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com.